One question still remains to those that are looking for jobs, and the question is, can a credit report rule my chances of securing a job? If you are interested in such, stay tuned, because that's what this video is all about. Hi guys, and okay, as all up in your screen, back again, guys, and today we're talking about one thing that most people get worried about, and I'm saying this because I do get calls, even to from family members, my cousins, they be like, girl, this company just called me for an interview, now I'm scared, are they going to check uh, my credit status before they can decide um, if they want to hire me. Okay, I do want to say that the National Credit Act obviously um, does uh, make provision for employers to actually do check um, or check how you're doing uh, or check your credit record before they can make a decision whether they would like to go with you. But one thing that we really get confused um or something that is very confusing, especially if you're looking for a job, is is there is there a need? Should should they do that? Okay, and I know that some people in recruitment and some in HR, um, they're not. I don't want to say they don't know, but they're not as clued up as to who exactly needs to check and who needs to be checked if they're looking for a job and can a credit record or report or status sort of affect the decision that is being made. One thing I can tell you is that if you are looking for a job in the financial sector, they sort of have to do this check. If you are a senior person and you are going to be interviewed or they're considering for a senior position, they would have to do that. Another thing is um, if you're going to be working with cash, they sort of have to do that. So there's this as assumption. Okay, it's not always right or it's not always correct as a major to sort of say, if you are looking like this on your credit, you have a chance of doing these things. Companies are trying to secure themselves. They're trying to make decisions that will not affect or impact the company in the long run in things like corruption or any fraudulent activities. So there's this belief that if you your credit report is not good or you've got listings or you are not paying your debt as you have promised, your chances of finding yourself doing any fraudulent activities or corruption or anything that has to do with stealing the money in the companies are this high. And I know that's not fully correct, but a credit report seems to be the only thing that can hold you accountable um, of, especially because it's something that you should personally be knowing about in terms of where you stand in your credit status or your credit reports. Okay. Um, these things, we must also know that there are legal requirements with the National Credit Act in respect of using credit record for employment purposes. Like you, if, if, if I'm looking for a job and my job has nothing to do with handling of money, I'm not senior, I don't want to work for a private sector, there is no way on this planet of earth that when I work for that organization, I'll be in any, any link to anything that has to do with money and there's no way I would steal money. Honestly, the credit check should not be done. Okay, I'm saying this because a lot of us are not clued up include up about these things. I sort of know about it because obviously I'm in recruitment and I work with a lot of organizations and sometimes they do say, please do credit check on this 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 person and when you look at the position you are able to then advise and say according 
according to the law, I am not supposed to do one, two, three until maybe they let you know that, okay, we get that, but this position is like this. And this person works very close with someone who works with money or cash, then you would have to conduct that. It's important that when you're a candidate, you fully understand why those things are done because it's unfair that you don't get a job because they did a credit check on you and you're not supposed to do that. And that sort of ruin your chances of getting a job. But at the same time, I do want to advise that we must really be clued up about those things. There are a lot of people out there on YouTube, on, on our social media platforms that are clued up about financial things. And we sort of don't, we don't really like to pay attention into these things until we don't have jobs and we start going for interviews and we get rejected because credit rep record or report uh, was considered in making a decision in terms of whether you're going to get a job or not. So I've got my personal, personal favorite person. I'm not saying she's the only one that can do this. Her name is Nozipo Fanyerden. Uh, I, I hope I said the same name right <laughs> because I would be wrong if I didn't get it right. Um, she's on Facebook talking money with Nozi. I personally love her. She she talks about where to start with your money, how to manage your money, how to invest, where to start. Because I can tell you one thing that we 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 need that information, even if you're not looking for a job, even if you're working. Because sometimes we 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 got we get caught up with our expenses and maybe we just don't know where to start so i'm gonna put a link um to all his social so you guys can on the description i'll put a link where you can get hold of her uh, her facebook page where else she's available for these things bless yourself and go learn a lot she has written three books she is guru guru of finances i'm not a financial advisor so anything that i do say now guys don't hold me to it this is just my two cent comments towards your financial life and how it can sort of ruin your chances of getting a job so please do that i'll link I'll link everything on the description and I'll also link it up here, but I think on the description it's easy because I'll try and link it the way it is so you can go ahead and press and have access to all her, her pages and social pages and where else you can get hold of her. I, I, I like it, I call her my financial pay because there are things that she she talks about or touch on that we sort of look for granted like how to buy shares and how do you go about it because we all buy our groceries things that we need in the house from these shops and brands that are well known not knowing you can actually invest in it and it's important that we also learn how to manage our finances because if we don't know how to and we don't know what it means to sign a contract and to agree to paying this amount and sometimes we don't know what happens if i lose my job where do i go what rights do i have what protects me where do i go like where do i start and i know a lot of people would say I do not answer private numbers. I do not answer landline numbers, numbers that I do not know, that are not saved on my phone. I do not answer. Another lady on YouTube who is, oh, she's very good. <laughs> you all know her, Nicolette Mashile. Okay, she's also known as Financial Bunny. You can go search, you guys. Go subscribe to her channel. She will make you feel... Like you really need a lot. I remember when I started discovering her channel, I would watch video to video and it will stress the hell out of me in terms of how much I don't know about finances. And at some point it stressed me until I got to a point where I was like, maybe I need to do something about it. And I'm grateful that I, I do open my eyes to such things and learn about these things because I'm a better person than I was before. And Nozi and Nicolette sort of contributed to where I am with my finances and understanding things that are just not common sense and they're not as basic. And I know a lot of people take these things for granted. I'm saying this because 
I do speak to a lot of people on the job market. I do recruit for companies, uh, different positions, and this remains the one of the critical questions. So I've got an advice, like my two cent comment, as I said, I'm not going to advise you financially. I've referred people that I know that I've seen sharing information that is just not easy to find. Okay, I'm going to link Nicolette's uh, socials as well so you can get in touch, but most of you know her. If you have not subscribed to our channel, go ahead, bless yourself, learn and challenge yourself and change. So one of one of the most difficult things to open about is like your credit report and what's there, what's listing. And I get and I do understand because there are times where I'm stuck with this candidate who's so good. And after doing the checks, you find out that they've got listings and the company's like Knox, but we don't want to deal with this and sometimes it's just like a minor thing and it's maybe like someone would get listed for like 800 rand and i'm not saying 800 rand is not a lot of money it's a lot of money 800 rand but sometimes if you clued up and you know these things and you know what to do like you just lost your job and this company is calling you to remind you that you need to pay that 300 rand instead of you ignoring the calls maybe answer those calls and do say you know if you know you owe them and you should be paying and you come up with an arrangement on how to do that but my advice when it comes to looking for a job and you've got listings because of whatever reasons i would advise you to be honest one reason why they would do these things they want to check if you are honest you are telling the truth so when they are interviewing you and they ask if there's anything that you would like to share with them. If they do checks, they normally tell you if they do checks, is there anything they're going to find that you have not maybe disclosed to them? What normally happens, you've got a consent form that you sort of sign to give a company a go ahead to go check you. Um, to check your credit record or report. So when you sign that or before you sign that, should you be given an opportunity during an interview to share that information, I would advise that you do share. Sometimes it's things that are understandable. You just lost your job. You are fully away. You get an opportunity to also commit yourself to say, should I be hired? Should I be given this opportunity? I, I will then pay this 800 rand on my first month. I'll clear and I'll send you guys proof to show you that I have cleared. Because it can't always be looked at as... Um, running away from your dirt, not being responsible. And you never know how a company would... I'm looking for this word. Anyways, you don't know how they're going to conclude when they look at your, your credit report if you have not disclosed anything. And I'm saying this because there was a time where I was recruiting for X company, I'm not mentioning companies, for X company, and there was this candidate who was so good. I'm going to call him candidate X as well. So candidate X was so good. He was listed. He did not know. So I did ask, I did let him know that we want to do credit check. His position had something to do with working with money, not directly, but in a way, get what I'm saying? So I did ask him and he seemed not to be fully aware, proudly so, and I could trust what he was saying. So I submitted, comes back, there is a listing. And I said, would you come to the office? He didn't stay far. We had to take some fingerprints as well. And he had to give me some uh, copies of his qualifications to also verify uh, his qualifications and he came to the office and said well there's they look like to be a listing are you aware are you aware of company xyz and he was aware but he wasn't aware that um he was behind with payments and it would show on his credit uh credit rep record uh report instead so um i called the client and i said this is what is happening he is not fully aware there is this such and he was that good of a candidate and I mean the amount wasn't really that much but for someone that wasn't working the amount was a lot of money so he wrote an email sort of committing that if he was given the opportunity um, he would pay that money so I know that would work um, and another thing that came into mind when that happened I was like how many people do not know that you can actually get your credit um, 
report sent to you once a year absolutely free with the TransUnion and then anything thereafter if you want to, to get your credit record or reports and said I keep confusing record and reports you guys will forgive me anyways you get what I'm saying and if you want to get it monthly you then would commit to a certain amount and some would do that for you absolutely free so Go ahead and do these things. Why is it important to get your credit report? Is that sometimes these people that are not good, you know, that steal our identity and do funny things that we are not aware, you get to see those things, right? You could be sitting at home and you don't know you own five credit cards that you have not paid. And somehow you've been listed for things that you are not fully aware of. I'm going to put... Um, a link as well on the description on where to go about getting your report also uh, means you've got an opportunity to look and see the information that is incorrect so that you can also try and fix that you can correct that with all with you can conduct you can contact credit on board for free assistance in terms of any incorrect listing under your name. And their website is www.creditsombard.org.za. And it's important that you check these things and you correct information that is not there. You check the different bureaus, you guys. So you, you find that one you are listing, you are listed on another one, and then the other one you are listed on another one. So it's important to also check with all of them. And you can get like your, your, your credit report absolutely free once a year. You go through it, you challenge it if you feel there's a need to challenge that information like i said guys you might find that you are listed for things that you are not aware or some of the things are really minor things where you can verbally commit that should you be given an opportunity and it's also important that you come up front with these things because sometimes we hold back information that can hold opportunities for us here you are saying i am not going to disclose any information about my credit life or my credit reports because they're not gonna know only to find out they will ask you. And obviously if you don't give them a go ahead and the position requires them to do that to sort of check if you wouldn't maybe find yourself uh, committing to anything that is not good that would affect the company financially or in losing any money, then they can decide not to go with you. But if you are gonna allow them because you are looking for a job you have to disclose things that you know. Hence, I'm, I'm advising that go ahead and request for that free credit report so you know exactly that these companies, when they check, what is there? Because you might find that you are sitting at home. You are so frustrated. You go to interviews. You're doing so amazing. You are not getting employed. It could be. I'm not saying that. It, it could be that they are scary listing under your names and it's even hard for them to come back to you and say, but you owe X, Y, and Z and you owe X, Y, and Z amounts and we feel it's a risk to hire you. So just to be safe, if you're looking for a job, you should be able to look at these things from different angles and decide side and make the right decision i know this was really helpful i know and if you have not subscribed till till now like i don't understand what you all about because i just shared information that is very important go ahead and press like and please do share this video a lot of people don't know the things that i've just shared with you okay so you might help someone share on your social media platforms share with your friends on whatsapp on that family WhatsApp group, you've got cousins that have been looking for jobs and they're very good at their jobs, but they just don't understand. How do I not, when they've shortlisted me and they've done a second interview and then now they send a regret letter, what's happening? It could, it could be one of the things that I've mentioned. Guys, I know I'm awesome. I've always been awesome. The goal is to be awesome. I'll see you guys on another awesome video.